Free and fair elections and the appointment of a prime minister to form a civilian government of technocrats are the outcomes of the meeting of the African Union Special Envoy also in Abu Sango with Al Burhan. These assurances did not limit the anger of the street, which, according to the latest statement of professional and syndicate gatherings, the response to civil disobedience and the general strike announced since October 25th reached 99% in all education offices across the country and 100% in universities. In view of the deterioration of the situation despite numerous international and continental mediations, the UN Human Rights Council decided to hold a plenary session tomorrow at the request of 20 countries out of 47 members, which had adopted the proposed project by the United States, Britain and Germany, which demands the return of civilians to power after the decisions of the army chief, Abdul Fattah al-Burhan, which some considered the coup and the army saw it as a course correction.